You're listening to The Shiny Sofa, the official podcast from Latex 24-7, the premier online magazine dedicated to latex fashion news, reviews, and interviews. Hello, and welcome to episode 13 of The Shiny Sofa. Coming up on this show, we talk about latex fashion at Cannes Festival, Fallout TV star Ella Purnell in Vex, and the new collection from Rubber Mommy. Joining us today is the phenomenal Maggie of Magdalena Latex. And I'm fascinated by dichotomies. For me, latex is an alter ego for a lot of people. It's kind of like their transformation into another persona. So take a seat on the sofa, make yourself comfortable, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and of course, via latex247.co.uk. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us on episode 13 of The Shine Sofa, the latex fashion podcast brought to you by Latex 24-7. Each episode we'll welcome a special guest, and I'm really pleased to say that today we're joined by Maggie of Maggie Delena Latex. Hey Maggie, how are you doing? Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Good, good, good to, good to see you and good to get the opportunity to, to speak to you. Thanks for, thanks for joining us, it's, it's really, really appreciated. Thanks for having me, I love to be here. I'm, I'm sure we've got plenty to talk about, so let's uh, let's let's crack on with the uh, with the first section. Here at the shining sofa, we like to find out a little bit more about our guests and what makes them tick. We're the segment of the show we call the quick fire round. We've got a huge list of questions which we feed into our random generator, and our guest has sixty seconds to answer as many quick fire multiple choice questions as they can before the time runs out. Are you ready there, Maggie? Should we go for I'm it? I'm ready. I'm ready. Brilliant. Let's, uh, let's start the timer then. Here we go. Hair up or hair down? Hair down. Ice skating or rollerblading? Ice skating. Instagram or TikTok? Instagram. Kindle or paperback? Paperback. Scary movie or comedy movie? Comedy. Snow White or Cinderella? Cinderella. Travel back in time or travel to the future? Travel back in time. Passenger or driver? Driver. Paris or New York? Paris. Elevator or stairs? Stairs. Xbox or PlayStation? Xbox. Red blue, red, red pill or the blue pill? Red. Large crowd or small party? Uh, small party. Burger King or McDonald's? Burger King. Good choice. Jeans or sweatpants? Jeans. Be rich or famous? Rich. Money or love? Love. And I think that sound there means that we've reached the end. I make that you got 17 there, Maggie. Well done. Nice. Well done. That's awesome. Well that's said. another good number. <laughs> that's, that's the way to do them. Quick, just go for it. Don't think about it. It's fantastic. Brilliant. 17 is my birthday, by the way, so... Well, there we go. So, <laughs> covered in <laughs> Fantastic. Well, um, thanks for that. We'll um, be right back. So let's take a look at some of the recent latex clothing and fashion news, which we featured over on latex247.co.uk. First of all, it's uh, that time of the year again, folks, where we had the uh, the Cannes Film Festival over in uh, the French Riviera. Um, and as seems to be the norm these days, we have celebrities far and wide uh, appearing in our favourite shiny material. Um, this year it was Atsuko Kudo um, and, and Avalano which were there predominantly, um, very similar to, to, to last year, to be fair. Um, yeah, it was just wall-to-wall gowns, really, in, in mm-hmm. incredible designs, shapes, cuts. Um, we saw everyone from uh, Rebecca Moore to um, Dixie, Dixie D'Amelio, I believe it's pronounced, Um it was a, a, a TikTok, uh, an FA movement, TikTok American singer. Um, yeah, just just proof, I think, again, that there's so much appetite for 
for latex fashion out there in in particularly the world of celebrity at the moment. Um, what's your what's your view on them? Are they are they items that you could see taking inspiration from? Absolutely. Um, I was happy to see a lot of latex at at the festival, and I was very very happy to see so many beautiful gowns. I mean, this is like old Hollywood. I mean, I thought yeah. they were absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Um, each one more beautiful than the last. I think they all look amazing. I love the train on all of them. So I just think they're very classy and beautiful, and I love I love all of them. I love them. Yeah, it's uh, that's that's a good description of them. Actually, it's a, a very very classic look, mm-hmm. but made with a relatively modern uh, material. Material. Um, yep. Yeah. 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 I so like that. It's- I- I was, I, was, I was particularly fond, actually, of the uh, the, the, the textured latex that um, was one of the uh, one of the Avalano gowns that uh, it? got a very sort of sneak skin type of texture to it. Um, yes, it's which, very interesting. Uh, yeah, really stood out to me. It was um, yeah, good to see. Good to see. Hopefully, uh, hopefully more of it. It um, seems to be a. A regular occurrence, and uh, we're, we're here for it. So, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. Um, next up, we also covered um, star of the uh, recent Fallout TV series, um, Ella Purnell, um, who was featured in a outfit from Vex Clothing. Um, a very simple design, I thought. Um, in fact, the the, the 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 top is actually called simple top. Um, <laughs> long sleeved um, in a in a very striking deep red color, um, and a, a quite a high mock turtleneck uh, cut. Um, really flattering, I thought, Maggie. I I, I I think it just just proved that somebody who I don't believe we've seen in latex before. Um, but somebody that that clearly can can wear it and and feel very much at, at ease doing so. It was uh, it was yeah good to see what was what was your thoughts on that one. I loved it. Um, very nice to see latex in a magazine, and I love to see latex from Vex because you know I love I love Laura, so I think yeah, uh, I think it's not. great 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 to see her stuff. Um, I think that this these pieces are very nice and and simple and. Simple has been has been big lately. So yeah, you know a lot of a lot of the items that that I've been launching lately have been simple because it's it's what the customer is kind of asking for right now. You know, I think yeah. they just want more versatile pieces like that can yeah can cut. You know, you could even wear some of those more simple pieces with regular trousers and or jeans and you know casual latex. So I think it's nice. I I love it. I love to see this in in New York magazine. And I think the model looks amazing. She does. She does. It's Fantastic. Great, great Fantastic. photo. It's, um, yeah, very, uh, v- very accessible. I think that mm-hmm. particular garment was. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Um, and finally, we also covered um, a relatively new latex uh, brand over from Netherlands. Um, somebody who's, who's who's no stranger to to the world latex fashion. Um, Jasmine Davids, who's, who's who's been part of the the industry and the community for for quite a while, um, predominantly more from a photography point of view, um, but she decided to take the plunge and, and start her her own um, brand uh, called Rubber Mummy Latex, um, and they revealed their recent collection at this year's German Fetish Ball. Um, they were on the catwalk. Um, Several phenomenal models um, walking down the catwalk, wearing wearing the incredible designs. I just I just think this is quite a quite a, a a brave collection, but one that also allows people to to to, to mix and match what's in there. You know, it's it's uh, it's, it's 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 a collection that can be very easily combined. Um, do you do see collections like this maggie and and 
take inspiration from it? Uh, do you also see things, reflections like this, and think, oh, well, maybe I'd do that a little bit differently? And you know, it's, is it is it is it is that, is that a bit of a bit of a curse of of working in the industry that you're always looking at these things and thinking how you might uh, change them or or, t- or take inspiration from them? Well, first of all, I would love to say "Rubber Mommy" is the coolest name ever. I just have to say that <laughs> because is. I it love it. Convenient. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and I, I saw the collection, and I think I think the pieces are great. I mean, I I love them. You know, there's a lot of stuff in here that I thought, oh, I'd, I'd like to wear that myself. <laughs> you know? yeah. So I mean, I love the stripes that she did. I love the red gown that she did. That's gorgeous. You know, going back to the gowns that we've been talking about, that one's very, very classic. Um, but I think there's a lot of great pieces here that could be, like you said, mix and match with, you know, with other pieces. And um, I love the spider web detail that she did on yeah. the purple. That's oh, my yeah. favorite. Yeah, that's, that's actually that's, my favorite latex that, color. That, that the... definitely stands out, that, that spider web one, doesn't it? That's my acting. favorite because my favorite color in latex is the semi-transparent mauve. So when I saw that, I was like, ooh, that's nice. I have to get me that. So <laughs> I think she did a great job. I think she did a great job and looks really, really nice. I love it. Yes. Yeah. It does indeed. It does. Does Yeah. Very. I, I think looking at that, looking at that collection, it's, it's something for everyone, isn't it? You've got, as you say, you've got the ball gowns, All there. you've got the briefs, you've got the skirts, um, and you've been, and you've also got some items that are, um, plain single color, um, and then you've also got the other, the other side of it, which has got the detail, the spies web, the um, the, the yeah, laser the cut, the laser cut stuff, the stripes. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, yes, it's, it's it's a very a very varied collection, which is which is always fab to see. Um, yeah, I think it's great. I think it's great. I mean, I you know, I have had you know pieces similar to these in my lines in the past, and I just you know for right now, since since there aren't that many latex designers in the United States. I'm seeing so much of a demand for simple items yeah. that I kind of stick to that. But I mean, this is this is what I would love to do more of, you know, more of these more creative pieces is what, you know, is, is really where you show your range, you know, of what you can do. Cool. And I really can do more of that with with custom pieces. But I mean, I, I think I think this stuff is fantastic. I think she did a great job. I love it. Bro. Yeah, completely agree. Completely agree. It's fantastic. Fab. Cheers for that, uh, Maggie. We'll um, take a short break now and we'll be uh, back in a moment. Thank you. You're listening to The Shiny Sofa, the official podcast from Latex 24-7, the premier online magazine dedicated to latex fashion news, reviews, and interviews. Welcome back to the Shiny Sofa, the Latex Fashion Podcast brought to you by Latex 24-7. Join us again this episode is the amazing Maggie of Maggie Delena Latex. Thanks for joining us, uh, Maggie. It's uh, great to have you here. Thank you. It's uh, really appreciated. Pleasure to be here. When I speak to uh, a latex designer or, or brand owner. Um, I'm always very interested to to learn where their their journey into into fashion as a whole began. Where where, where did that begin for you? So has fashion always been a a passion and something that you've you've always had a, an interest in life? Was a was it a kind of a career choice or? Absolutely, it's always been a huge part of my life. Um, I've been drawing since I was three, uh, very very small child and uh, I spent a lot of time uh, in my childhood drawing and uh, what I always chose to draw was you know the princess the princess in the princess dress the, you know the women in the dresses is what I always like to draw so um, spent a lot of time drawing and my grandmother was a seamstress so she showed me at a very young age how to sew and it piqued my interest in design because anytime I had an event to go to she would ask me you know, what, what would you like to wear? What would you like your dress to look like? So I would draw a dress, I'd bring it to her and she would make the pattern and she would make the dress, we'd make it together. Um, so it was just something that, uh, I spent a lot of time doing as a young child. Um, and I enjoyed it very much. So, um, you know, naturally when it was time to go to university, I, uh, I decided to study fashion design. Yeah. And so I did a complete university for fashion design, um, in 97 aging myself a little bit here. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> but uh, you know, I've been I've been working in the industry ever since. So um, my first uh, design job was as a assistant designer um, back in 1997, and um, I've been designing ever since. So started in the sportswear industry, and you know, climbed my way up that uh, that ladder from an assistant to a creative director, and did okay. that quite a long time. Um, awesome. Awesome. That's um, okay. That's 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 quite that's quite a change from from sportswear to to latex, there, isn't it? Really. Well, well uh, it is. It well, is. Well, well, we'll maybe come back to that one in a moment. Um, what sparked your interest in in latex clothing? Then, what was what what was your kind of first exposure to the material? And and what what made you what what drew you towards it? What made you think I fancy that rather than 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 the the, the sportswear side of things? Well, although I was a sportswear designer for, you know, all those years, um, my personal life, in my personal life, I was very much into the goth and club scene. Um, yeah. So, you know, being in that scene, I was exposed to, you know, latex clothing again many, many years ago. And I just loved, yeah. loved the look of it. And, um, you know, a lot of the brands originated in Europe, you know, England and Germany. And I, you know, have always had an affinity uh, for European fashion. So um, naturally, I kind of gravitated towards working on latex because I love the material so much. So that's kind of how I got started doing it. I just like to wear it. Started buying myself a lot of latex. Got to be the best way to do it, hasn't it? It's an experience for yourself so that you, you, you can understand it and you can appreciate the appeal of it so that when you come Absolutely. to design it yourself, you, you, you can... Well, you can, you can effectively sell it properly, can't you? You know, you, you, yeah, yeah. And maybe improve upon some of the things that 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 you kind of identify that you would like to change, maybe about a little bit. So there's a little bit of that too. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. So you you, you took the decision to, to to form your own brand, Maggie Delaney Latex. Um, can you tell us a little about? how and when it was formed, when, when the brand was formed and, and, and also a little bit about what sort of, what's the concept behind, behind the brand? So, um, I started in, back in 2005, um, started making clothes for some of my friends, you know, again, in the, in the club scene and the fetish yep. scene and, yep. uh, goth scene. And, you know, the concept behind the brand was just, you know, there are dichotomies within all of us and I'm fascinated by dichotomies. So, you know, for me, latex is an alter ego for a lot of people. It's it's kind of like their their transformation into another persona. So yeah. the concept is just that duality, you know, who we are during the day, what have you, you know, where you have to go to work and be yourself. And then, you know, maybe on on the side, maybe in the evening or when you go out on the weekends, you know, maybe you're this other person, you know, that's, that's part of it. <laughs> so, yeah. so that's kind of where the concept started. It's kind of about dichotomies and duality and just having multifaceted uh, individuals, you know, that want to transform themselves. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. That's, um, yeah, it's, that's, that's something we hear time and time again from, from people who are, um, not, not just regular, but but newbie latex wear is 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 that that transformation element that they feel it, it provides, and um, yeah, it's uh, a, a, a very common theme that uh, that always comes across from people that we speak to, and um, it's awesome, awesome. And I mean, it's evolved a lot since then. You know, I mean, when I first started making it, it was very underground, but now it's it's evolved so much that you know maybe it doesn't need to have to be you know, so underground, you know, it's, it's much more in the forefront. I mean, you report on it every day, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we hope so. That's, uh, you know, that's, 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 that's kind of the aim and, mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, you're right. It's, it's become far more of a, I'm glad to say it's become far more of a, an accepted, uh, material still, still got a way to go without a doubt, but, yep. um, yeah, it's, it's evolved. And I think it also helps that there are a lot of brands out there that are, catering to the 
the fashion side of things rather than necessarily the the underground and and, and clubbing side of as as you mentioned uh, mm-hmm. there, Maggie. You know, it's it's that's certainly you know a, a brands like like yourself have, have have certainly helped to push that to, to new markets and to new audiences. Absolutely. Yeah. Real. Real. Let me think about Magdalena Latex. What do you think is it that makes it unique and and and, and different to other designers? Is is there something that you feel you've always aimed to to achieve that's got that element of uniqueness to it? Um, I I do um, strive to ever since the beginning when I first started making the clothing. I have always wanted to uh, strive to have a very high uh, standard for quality um, and fit. Um, fit is very very important to me. Um, yep. I, I come from a long background of pattern making and, um, I spend a lot of time working on patterns and adjusting fit for, you know, different bodies. Um, because I think, you know, we're not, we're not all shaped the same. We're not, Gosh, that, no. you know, cookie cutters. So, you know, I, <laughs> I do offer, I offer, you know, on my website, I offer the ability for any customer who buys any product to customize any garment to their measurements at no extra charge. So I, I got the field there for people to enter their measurements and I have no issue with, you know, making adjustments as I'm making garments because I want it to fit perfect. You know, I want it to yeah. accentuate curves. I want it to snatch in waist. I, you know, you know, as women, we, well, I mean, I make men's clothing too, but, uh, most of my customers are women. So, um, we like to have the waist snatched in. We like to have our curves showing. So, you know, I like to kind of accentuate all of those things and just kind of help the person who's wearing it feel their best when they have the garment on. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, I think the other point there would be that, as you quite really say, you want to ensure that it, fit, it fits properly and, and, and is, is, is made to the highest standards because, of course, it it's... Um, it's it's not fast fast fashion, is it? It's 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 an investment. So, if people are spending that money on getting a piece or hopefully more pieces, um, it needs to be something that's 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 made correctly to fit properly, and 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 therefore can hopefully get years of enjoyment from from doing so. Yep. What do you enjoy most about working with with latex, and um, and and what do you think are the biggest challenges doing so? I love working with latex because it's so versatile. I mean, I can make anything, you know, I can, I can dream of something, <laughs> just make it, you know, I can make, I can make anything for the most part, you know? Um, <clears throat> so it's, uh, it's very fun to work with, you know? Yeah. Um, I think it's great. Uh, it allows for a lot of creativity. Um, and just, you know, I just love working with the material. It's just, it's so fun, you know, and it's very forgiving too. <laughs> <laughs> Stretch is a lot. <laughs> I, I imagine there's been a few occasions where you've uh, you um what's the phrase where you've um tried tried to create something and it, it's 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 not gone according to plan and you, you've kicked yourself for, for the way it's uh, the way it's turned out. But yeah, I, um, I, s- I feel like I needed like an engineering degree in addition to a design degree to do this because sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes i sit around and i go how am i gonna make this work and it you know it's there's a bit of you know sometimes trying to figure things out but it usually comes yeah. together pretty well <laughs> yeah is it is it is there quite a lot of sort of trial and error sometimes with yeah. with the designs and creating multiple patterns and, and multiple designs before deciding on 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 the final the final piece mm-hmm. absolutely i often hear from people that that latex means latex fashion means different different things to them, um, either from from empowering um, some people to to the outlandish side of things. Other than a career, what does latex fashion mean to you? Well, uh, you know, at the sake of sounding cliche, I mean, I uh, for me, it's a very empowering material, you know, and I and I hear that time and time again. Um, from people who have never worn it before, who've come, you know, for their first garment and they 
put on that first garment and they go, oh my goodness, I feel amazing in this. Like, it's just, <laughs> yeah, I think they feel like they were transformed into, you know, this, you know, just amazing goddess or, you know, what have you. Yeah. So I, it's, it's definitely very, very empowering. And that's one of the things I love about it the most, you know, how it makes the wearer feel. Yeah, it's quite, um, it's quite something to see, to see that first time that, that you get somebody who's worn it on on, on the first occasion. Just, just it's yeah, it's quite amazing to see that the the, the look on that on yeah. that person's face at how phenomenal they they, they can feel. It, it's uh, yeah, empowering. Just absolutely ticks all the boxes, doesn't it? Really, with uh, it does with it, yeah. So. With Magdalena Latex, you, you, you create garments. You mentioned you do men's wear, women's wear, um, and I'd like to touch on the men's wear bit in, in a minute, actually, because that's that's something that I, I I obviously have a personal relationship with, um, and and something that I you know I, I'd, I'd like to ask you more about. But your your garments include dresses, briefs, bras, stockings, skirts, tops. What are your your most popular designs that you are consistently, um, so people consistently order from you, uh, Maggie? What's what's the what's the most common ones, and and um, also what which 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 ones do you do you find are um, frequently sort of purchased together? Shall we say as as as, as, a, as a set? Well, being in South Florida. In Miami, it's very, yeah. very warm here, and um, not just at all. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I started uh, back in 2007. I started making bikinis in latex because I thought, you know, South yeah. Florida, very hot, and you know, I started making bikinis. And um, honestly, that that has been uh, something that's been very nice uh, for me. I've I've been doing very well with my swimwear, um, and I've expanded on that quite a bit so i do i do get a lot of requests for bikinis you know it's a it's yeah. a big one for me um we know a little bit about swimwear here in miami so <laughs> <laughs> so i've been able to perfect that quite a bit but in addition to that um you know i i i do offer a lot of different styles on my website i have a large range of of styles so you know i i also get the the cat suit and waist cincher you know together um, so I do sell a lot of those combinations as well, you know, the cat suit and the cincher or, you know, skirt cincher and bra top, you know, I, I, I really like, um, making pieces that can work together and that can be, uh, mix and match, you know, so you can make yeah. many, many different ensembles with the same, you know, with like a, like a good base of garments, you know, a lot of basic you can kind of put together and make a lot of different, um, different uh outfits with it because it, it i think it just provides more versatility to the person who's you know who's buying the garments like you said it's an investment so you know most people want to be able to maximize that and maybe switch around some different styles and make it look like a different uh a different outfit so i really like those mix and match pieces as well yeah yeah that makes get, get that that's um it's it's a, it, it's a good way to produce Particularly good way to start. I always think if you if you're mm -hmm. quite new to latex fashion, is, is is go for those those basics, those staple items, and um, you then have the flexibility and the versatility to to to, to mix a match and and make the most of it. Really, um, touched on there at the beginning of that uh, that previous point there about uh, menswear. Um, is 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 the menswear side of, of the business something that you've seen grow over the last few few months and 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 years, Maggie? Is that something that's I would still say, relatively? I would say yes. I would say yes. Um, if I think now in terms of you know years back, there's definitely been yeah. an uptick in uh, in men uh, being interested. I think in in purchasing latex garments for themselves, which is really nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's really, really nice um, to see because, you know, there are a lot of garments that could be made for men that are, you know, 
just as lovely as what we can make for women too, you know? So, I mean, I love, I love making, um, men's jeans, to be honest with you and like button down collared shirts. Like I love that look. I love it. And it's, you know, it's, that's what I love the most, like uh, for, for menswear. And that's what I get the most requests for, um, here. You know, I don't, I don't see a lot of requests for, um, the tighter, um, men's garments. I see more, you know, like the board shorts, the, the looser shorts and jeans yep. and hoodies and, you know, those types of looser garments I see, um, get a lot of traction for me. Okay. That's good. That's good. I, 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 yeah, I can, I can, I can agree with that. I think the the looser side of things is, is something that, um, I, uh, I, I tend to, to steer towards, I must admit, because it's it's something that can be worn a little bit more um, accessible and, 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 and easily, you know, it's, it's it doesn't yep. feel like quite so much of a an event to have to put to, to, to get the thing on and leave <laughs> up and everything. You know, it's 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 yeah, it's it's that little bit more flexible just to be able to, 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 to wear it whenever you want to. So yeah, that's good yeah. to know. Good to know. Well yeah. Fingers crossed that uh, that only increases and, and, and grows for you. The customers um, that uh, that you work with, uh, Aggie, and, and and produce um, items for, how important is the reaction to you for, for those clients? Um, you know, how, what what sort of reactions have you had? Um, what, what's the best reaction you've ever had from from somebody who's has purchased one of one of your items? Well, the the reaction is very important to me because since since I started out with the idea that I wanted to make something um, that fit really well, um, I love to hear that something fits well. Which you know, luckily I hear quite a bit. <laughs> 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 luckily, um, so you know, I to me it's a it, it's very very important it's it's great to hear that something fits well that uh that the customer is happy with um you know what they purchase what they have and uh it's i mean what else can i say it's just it's a great feeling to know that you know that i nailed it (laughs) but i imagine it's probably something that actually spurs you on isn't it that that you know that that those those kind comments and feedback is, is something that then Gives you the encouragement to to to, to carry on and, and and try new things and and so forth. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, there's always you know the off chance that that something you know didn't work, and we we'll take it back and just make it work. Yeah. No, yeah. No. Well, well. What would you say to anybody who's interested in to in in wearing? latex fashion and maybe hasn't taken the plunge yet what what kind of advice would you you offer them and and what kind of uh, guidance and, and and words do you think would uh would be beneficial to them well if it's somebody's first time i usually um suggest that they start with a garment that is a little bit easier to get in and out of than you know like a katsu so mm-hmm. I, I usually advise, you know, someone who's trying it for the first time to try something smaller, like a, a dress, you know, a bikini, <laughs> some sort of lingerie, you know, something, something small, easy to get into and out of. And, you know, that way you can see how it feels, see how, how it fits you and what you like and what you don't like. And, you know, just kind of work from there and work your way up to something like, like a cat suit. But there's always, you know, there's some people that want to start with a cat suit and I say, okay, let's go, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it <laughs> are you ready for this here we go <laughs> yeah just jump in with both feet let's do it <laughs> a few weeks ago you uh you launched a, a, a spring 2024 collection um tell us a little bit about some of the garments that were involved with uh with that uh, maggie and, and and kind of what was the what was the inspiration behind that that particular collection absolutely um so, you know, I I do love for things to fit well, as I've mentioned before. So I had I did have some requests for um, for some tops, uh, bikinis specifically that had a little bit more support. Um, so I created some bikinis and pieces that were a little bit more supportive um, for, you know, like a larger breast size. And I'm calling it the busty bikinis. So, you know, I have some <laughs> of those added some of those to love the it. website. 
And um, those are doing very well because, you know, there's there's a lot, a lot of a lot of busty babes out there <laughs> who need, <laughs> need, need some support. So we, we got those going for them. We added uh, some gowns uh, to the collection um, and also some dresses because dresses are always, always important, um, you know, for events and things like that. But we do we do have a lot of gowns now, too, because the gowns are becoming uh, much more important. So, yeah. Uh, added some gowns and some other pieces again you know since since i really love to be able to mix and match um i try to add pieces that can be added to existing uh styles that we've been offering for quite some time so we added like you know some garter belts a chest harness that can be worn over bodysuits um bodysuits do really well for me too um kind of like a one piece swimsuit type look so yep. i added yep. a few of those um and i i love leopard prints so i'm i'm always I'm always offering new leopard print style. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we never guess for me Instagram. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's it's a very. Um, I think it's a very a, a very accessible collection. Is is what you've created, uh, Maggie? It's 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 something that's hopefully going to 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 people are going to look at and 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 and. and find it something you know look at it and, and feel that that's something that they yeah they, 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 they could quite happily wear you know regularly and 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 make it make it part of their um everyday wardrobe really um yeah it was uh it was it was good to see when it came out it was uh very very and we, 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 we were glad, glad we were able to to cover it over on the website as well when uh when you did so that was yes uh, thank yeah, you for well, that one question I always like to ask the guests that come on on the podcast here is um, if you could create a latex outfit for anyone in the world, who would that be? And can you describe what the outfit would be like? Yes. So this is going to be really interesting because it's going to be a very big departure from anything that I've created already. But okay. I can make a garment for anyone. I would love to make a stage outfit for Tori Amos. Okay, um, good choice. I, yeah, yeah. I love mm -hmm. her music. I've loved her since I was in high school, and um, I would love to make her something uh, very, you know, with some huge bell sleeves, something very flowy and and feminine, and like you know, pink, maybe floral. And I would just imagine it just being this very like ethereal, uh beautiful garment with these bell sleeves because she loves to wear that type of stuff when she's on stage and playing piano yeah so that that would be amazing <laughs> that sounds awesome that sounds very good yeah yeah no, 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 not sure we've seen tori in latex yet so um, i don't think so i don't think so no, we may need well, to get a message uh, over to her <laughs> there's, there's always a chance so let's uh, yeah yeah that, no, that that's yeah i can i can i can see that working definitely right yeah 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 yeah, yeah good choice like that one like that one a lot i don't know What's next for Magdalena Latex? Um, what can you what, what can you tease us with? Um, what's uh, what's what's upcoming? Well, I'm working on uh, some summer pieces and some fall pieces, and I have some very fun collaborations that I'm working on that I can't really speak to yet. Awesome, but Not good. Okay. but there's we'll, going to we'll be. <laughs> But there's going to be some really, some really interesting uh, new styles that are going to come out soon, and um, planning on also maybe doing some, some one-offs, um, because I have okay. some really interesting prints that I think uh, would make a very nice uh, one-of-a-kind pieces that I think uh, would be something nice. very fun to offer. Um, so keep an eye out for those. Yeah, we will do, of course, definitely, definitely. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Good times. That sounds sounds exciting. We'll, um, we'll look forward to seeing those without a doubt. Yeah, that's brilliant. Well, Maggie, thank you for joining us. It's been um, been a pleasure to to talk to you and find out a little bit about your previous experience and 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 passion for for latex. It's um, yeah, always great to have people that, within the industry that have clearly uh, clearly understand what's what's required and 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 put their put their heart and soul into to, to what they produce. So thank you. It's been been great to. Speak. Um, do you want to just give everyone a, a quick reminder before we uh, disappear for where they can find you online, your, your websites and socials and so forth? Yes. Um, my website is www.maggiedelena.com and my Instagram is 
Maggie Delena underscore latex. And we're a little bit shadow banned at the moment, but you can find me if you type in the entire <laughs> the entire <laughs> handle. <laughs> that, that damn Instagram uh, um, yes. Yes. algorithm. Yes, yes. They, yes. they don't like our sexy clothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's fab thank you appreciate it and all, uh, I, I have no, no doubt we'll uh, we'll speak again soon absolutely anytime see you soon bye bye I'm afraid that's all we have time for on this episode of The Shining Sofa many thanks to special guest Maggie of Magdalene Latex for being with us today we hope you found The Shining Sofa comfy and we'll join us again next time don't forget to hit that subscribe button wherever you listen to your podcast. Check us out on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. And be sure to head over to latex247.co.uk for all latest latex fashion news and reviews. Music